the sweaty summers are here and this is gonna make your electronics like they are being toasted in the Hawaii. So I also face the similar problem that you guys must be facing that your electronics are being here and the laptop is one of them. I have explored numerous ways to keep my laptop cool. I got the fan did not Then I got a laptop table. Although it was good for a bed, but I explored many ways and found out something unique to make my laptop. So I've got this, the Noctua MTH1 Thermal Based. You guys must be correct. That's why I pulled this injection into my bag. And I'm gonna inject it in myself or I'm gonna become an Avenger. I'm an electronic doctor. No, no, no. Actually, this is a thermal paste. And I'm gonna inject it into my laptop CPU and the GPU. And this is gonna bring down its temperature. Specially designed thermal paste. So let's just find out. Before moving further, I would just like to keep a check on my temperature. Under idle conditions, I am getting 57 degrees Celsius on my CPU and approximately 73 degrees Celsius on the GPU. Uh, under load, getting 76 degrees Celsius on the CPU and oh my god, that's insane i am getting 108 degrees celsius on my gpu how can I survive i can fry an egg on this so here is my laptop and i'm gonna take off all the screws never forcefully try to pull off of the chassis and make sure you have removed all the screws and then gently remove the casing access your cpu and gpu and Take off the heat sink. You take off all the cables and uh, don't accidentally yank those fragile connectors. Use an uh, alcohol swab or a Q tip with 70% isopropyl alcohol to clean up uh, your CPU and GPU. Uh, make sure that uh, the thermal paste is completely removed from it and you reveal the shiny surface. Also, uh, Clean up your heatsink and then use the thermal paste. Here we have got the Noctua NTH1 now, and now I'm gonna apply it. The old uh, CPUs did not have heat spreaders, so we have to spread the thermal compound on them like uh, bread and butter. But nowadays, uh, heat spreaders are there, and the mounting pressure does the job. Place the back the heatsink, put all the screws back on, make sure everything is locked and then put it all together back. Now that uh, when everything is in place, let's just find out what the, what are the temperatures now. So the results are here. Did it work out? I must say yes. Under ideal conditions, I noticed a drop of approximately 9 to 10 degrees Celsius. And yes, it's like a heaven for me because uh, even 1 degree Celsius matters. And I saw temperatures uh, dropped uh, to approximately 5 degrees Celsius on my CPU and uh, 6 degrees Celsius on the GPU under load conditions. I am more than satisfied from this. So thanks for watching this episode and if you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe. 
and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button it helps us a lot share this video with anyone who might get benefit from it if you have any questions or suggestions then leave them in the comment section below till then take care